everyone, this is Psy Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Dominions 4, the Nazca. As you can see here, we have a new turn. We've researched our thaumaturgy. We got uh, Augury, nothing found, nothing found, nothing found, and a whole lot of nothing found. And there was a battle here where we took over another Indy province. We didn't lose anything. We took over uh, Griffin Spires, but the enemy still has their fortress. We have to besiege that. Um, we took over another province from the Indies. We just lost uh, three troops. We had an unexpected event here. Food has been scarce. Unrest has increased, and the population has decreased. It's not good. We started to destroy the gate, but we need more time. And there is a lack of supplies in the Mecria. Diseases are afflicting the troops. So we're going to go ahead and head them out of there. There's nothing else I can really do down there anyways. I'll pump up the province defense and the provinces that need it. I'm not going to pour a whole bunch of province defense into something that hardly has any income. This one we're going to go ahead and put 20 points into. So, we are still recruiting there. We're building a fortress right here. And we have three months remaining on that one. Four months remaining on that fortress. We're going to go ahead and construct a temple there. We are working on research. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing with the research. All right, currently we are at level four in thaumaturgy. We could get on up to there. Burden of time. This evil enchantment will make everyone in the world age at a highly accelerated rate. Unrest will increase in the entire world, and soldiers will become crippled and useless. Yes, we don't want that. It wouldn't hurt us terribly bad, considering that we have commanders that are going to become mummies when they die. Would almost actually be useful in some ways, but not in enough ways. And now then... Uh, don't believe that Mictalin has declared war on us unless I've just forgotten. Let's see here. Provinces. Oh, we are... We are doing quite well in provinces now after getting a few different armies out in the field. Forts. We're not particularly good in that area. Income. We're looking good. We're in about third place. Almost tied for second. Gym income, we are starting to improve in that area. Our research, you can see that is shooting on up at a pretty decent rate. Our dominion is steadily climbing, as pretty much everyone else's is as well. And our army size, we are just about tied for third place. Oh, barely taking third place. And let's go ahead and continue to besiege this fortress. We will take that one shortly. Let me go ahead and move him on up there. Put some province defense in there. And I cannot build a temple there yet because I don't have enough gold. I can move up there and take that province now. That's nice because it's winter. And when it is winter, the rivers freeze over. So you can actually cross the rivers during the winter. That's uh, You can be seen by the solid blue line. If that blue line was something like that, I guess that means that you actually cannot cross there for whatever reason. But here, I can cross. I guess it just... I don't know if that happens at random or how it decides that, but... When you see a solid blue line, that means you can cross. When you see a blue line that is not solid, you cannot cross it. All right. 
We're going to go ahead and send our scouts on out further. See, I'm trying to move him, but you cannot. He has to go up there. And he will move along that way. And uh, I think that's about all we can really do. Let's go ahead and change our research, though. I would like to have the ability to start raising skeletons and perhaps to revive kings. That way I have a commander that can actually go into the water. With the real life king, it's uh, one commander he can command. I believe it's 40 or 80 undead troops. Not a whole lot. But he can be uh, underwater. Whereas the other undead commanders I have cannot move under the water. So... I've already got that switched over to enchantment, and we're going to go ahead and end this turn. The AI is thinking. But I do need to have some commanders that can move under the water, because we are at war with an underwater nation. Now... Thinking about it, I believe my Sapayas are actually amphibious. Uh, being amphibious and not poor amphibians, I believe it means they can go on the water and they don't have any problems with movement, so their skills are not actually going to decrease. Um, that thought just came to my mind. I have to double check that to make sure I'm right. Augury, we found uh, two magic sites and silver frames. Let's see what that is. We have an enchanted pyre and a sun ridge. So our fire gem income just increased a fair bit right there. And we have our specs. Still found nothing. Arcane probing, nothing. Augury, nothing there. All right, there was a battle in a Raspberry Woods. We annihilated some Jaguar tribe warriors, and apparently Ryla has attacked us. Our forces defeated the attacking force from Ryla. Where did they attack us at? They attacked us there. Oh yes, and I actually have my army in that province. That is why we managed to defeat them so easily. Sucks for them. Anyways, looking here at the Sapayas, they are indeed amphibious. Which means they do not suffer movement reductions while underwater. So that is very good. That will make them quite useful at attacking Ryla. So I just need some commanders that can move underwater and we will start taking them out. Alright, we had an unexpected event. Oh, Cold plus three, population minus 1,820. I don't like that. A group of knights have attacked uh, the province in order to take it out. Sleepy Mountains. And we found some death gems. That's cool. Let's go ahead and see this battle in the Sleepy Mountains. Ah, crap. That's way out of the way, too. So I'm not going to be easily able to move back down there and recover that province. Hmm. I may just wait until that province is under friendly dominion and then just teleport my pretender guy down there. Alright, we have broken down the fortification. So I can actually storm the castle. And you know what, why not? Let's just go ahead and take that back. We will continue here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the troops I've got under their command. Building fortification there. All 
right, we have a temple now. Let's go ahead and build a lab. He has three months remaining. I'm going to go ahead and move this guy down there. Set him to reanimate. Might not be a bad idea to actually have one of these guys patrolling with all the undead that I've got. That way if man gets any bright ideas about attacking, they will be dealing with not only the province defense, but also a lot of undead. So I'm going to have him patrol. And we may very well take out some spies as well. Okay. Set him to research for the moment. Checking this out. We've actually met our goal for research here. Uh, where is he? Am I blind? Oh yes, he was back up in level 2. So I can now use Revive King. Let's see, where are the Bane Lords? Bane Lords, I believe, are in, actually in Conjuration. I cannot recall if Bane Lords are amphibious, though. Hmm. Well, I think for the time being, I'm going to switch them back to reanimation anyways. Actually, I'm going to set a number of them to site search for astral with arcane probing. And I think I'll set another three of them to site search for air sites. And three more to site search for earth sites. So we are going to have a lot of site searching going on for a few turns here. Check our army. Hmm. The rest of these guys, I'm actually going to have them go back to reanimating. Very good. You've got a decent uh, death gem income now. That's not terribly bad. With that, I could actually summon two kings per turn. And these guys... I'm not at war with Mictlan yet. So we're going to go ahead and not attack them. Hmm. Tell you what. We're going to move back down here and maybe make an attempt to take out Bogus. Before I actually attack Mictlan, I would like to have several armies in position to do as much damage as I could in as short amount of time as possible. There's still a number of underwater provinces that have not been taken. Alright. Now these guys, I want to make sure I don't have them set to hold an attack. It looks like they're just set to attack rear. So we are good to go. I don't have gold to build any more temples. So that's about all we can do. There's some raiding going on. I think you can perhaps raid without declaring war. Of course, the diplomacy in this game is uh, pretty thin. There's not really much in the way of diplomacy. 
You can't make make peace treaties and all that. At least not with the AI. If you're playing with other humans, you can pretty much do whatever you want. But there's no game mechanic to force you into abiding by any agreements. Alright, we found one site in... Fanatis? A fire prison! Awesome! Four fire gems per turn and an enchantment bonus of 20. That's great. Alright. So where was that? Okay, that was there. Aspects, nothing, and no more. Alright, our pretender actually found something finally. Oh yay, a farm of plenty. Wow. Okay. I don't really care anything about that, but we did find a couple death sites. That's excellent. Where is that? A burial mound and a labyrinth of skulls. So our death gem income is continuing to improve. Uh, we have Auspex. Oh, good. We found another air site. Sky Split Oak. That is good. And no more. Nothing. Augury. Arcane Probing. And Auspex. We found nothing. Alright. A battle in Griffin Spires. So we have taken the... Oh, actually, I guess they attempted to attack us. And then we laid siege to their fortress. But, uh... Their attempt to attack us was fairly unsuccessful. Basically, all they managed to do was get annihilated. These guys have got very poor defense skills, and with their attack skill, they don't have much chance of actually hitting me anyways. All right, speed that along. I'll watch them disintegrate on the screen. Goodbye. Watch their traitor prince die. Okay. Now we are going to take their fortress. Nazca is attacking Ryla. I'm hoping that those towers don't actually continue to shoot at my commander. No, they're shooting back towards the bulk of my army, I believe. Alright, so we've annihilated their fortress. A whole lot of good their fortress did to them. And we have an unexpected event. Unrest minus 9 and gold 204, so that's good. Okay. We'll send him down that way. And... Let's go ahead and pump some province defense in here. Try to protect this fortress that we've actually acquired. I'm going to build a temple. And we have two months remaining on that. I'm going to go ahead and build a temple there. We already have a laboratory and a temple there. So he... We'll actually just start reanimating, I think. And... Kind of up in the air about what I want to do with the bulk of my forces at this point. I have a pretty good death gem income, so I can start uh, recruiting some kings to take these water provinces and bring the fight to Ryla, which would not be a bad thing. Send our scouts on up. Uh, they lost a Hindi province there. 
to Ettens. All right, I think this is going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this video. As always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And we will see you again shortly. Thank you very much.